hello Scorpio welcome back to divine destiny guide now as I said before I love to do these readings for you this one is what makes you stand out what makes you stand out so from the crowd you know what makes you so unique set apart so I hope this message will resonate with you if this is your first time I welcome you welcome into the room now I hope that this message will resonate with you and you will subscribe, be a part of the family here. I would be more than happy to have you as a part of the tribe here. Please give the videos a thumbs up. Please leave a comment if you felt led to do so. Now for my soul family, my soul tribe and the new subscribers, thank you for coming back. Thank you for supporting the growth of this channel. I really, really do appreciate you. Can't do it without you. Couldn't do it without you. We are a team. And together we make it work. So thank you so very much for your encouragement as well. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so very much. So what makes you stand out? Soul Tribe, what makes you stand out? What makes you stand out from the crowd? What makes you stand out? For what makes, ooh, okay, all right, that card. Okay, well, two cards came out. Page of Swords. You're very strategic, Scorpio. You're very strategic. Uh, for a lot of you, your communication skills, it's very good as well. It's like you're open. You're willing to learn. You know, you get fresh, fresh ideas. A lot of you, you're very smart, very intelligent too. You know, and you come off very innocent. A lot of you, you're, you're in your thoughts a lot. You're in your thoughts a lot. For a lot of you, you're also um, influencers as well. A lot of you, you, you have a channel or maybe in the future, this is a prediction that you will have a channel as well. A lot of you are observers. When I look at him, you know, he can read a room. A lot of you, you can read a room. You will just sit back there innocent maybe shy very quiet and people will think you know <laughs> you're probably naive or gullible but you're taking everything there is a saying you're taking everything out of whining it's like you're just you you can tell it's like again and again because a lot of you are very intuitive as well you know you can easily pick up on energies as well and people vibes and that's that is very unique about you that that's what qualities that make you stand out from others as well you read a room very well what makes you stand out scorpio you're in your head a lot yes this is very common for us it's like you know you think you ruminate on things you know you just keep going over and over. I see the brain back there. So not only are you very smart, intelligent, again, you're a thinker. You keep a lot of thoughts to yourself as well. You're, an, you're very observant as well. And with your sword, you're a truthful, you're an honest person, and you're open to learn. You're willing to give new things an opportunity you know, with that page there as well. It's like you you pay attention to details as well. That That is unique about you. And then the other card that came out is the Queen of Wands, Confident Ambition. A lot of you, very confident. Like I said, you know, you may come off naive to some people, gullible, but there is something about your energy you know look at this it's like this girl is on fire this guy is on fire 
the way your posture, the way you carry yourself with grace. When you walk into a room, I mean, look, she's walking up there. There's a fire bursting out. There's like a beer walking by. You know, can't take its eyes off of you. You're a warrior. You're a fighter. You fight for what you believe in. Whatever you love, you're very passionate. You go after what you want. You're a fighter. You're a go-getter. For some of you, the best thing that people could, could say to you is can't. The best thing people can say to you is no. Because for you, you flip that no and it turns you on. Okay? It's like, really? I'm going to show you. And this is why a lot of you, your comeback, your bounce back is stronger than anything else. And a lot of you right now, I see you are very confident. You have taken your power back. You know, you, you, you know how to fight for yourself. You know how to, to defend yourself. And that is something that is, that's wonderful. And you're very handsome, very beautiful as well. You know, I, I can't use other words, you know, because I don't want to get in any trouble with uh, YouTube. So I try to stay out of it. Well, for a lot of you, what makes you unique, Scorpio, and I'm not surprised, is that you have gone through a lot of Ten of Swords, a lot of deep anguish, a lot of pain. And that really sets you apart. Again, when I look at the Queen of Wands, how graceful you are. After you've gone through so much, you've been through a lot, a lot of defeat, things that were supposed to break you. The Ten of Swords, this is the maximum. But endings bring new beginnings, right? So a lot of you... What makes you stand out is your ability to be resilient. You can't keep a good man or a good woman down. You're fighters. Like with the Queen of Wands, you're very determined. Again, it's like when people think you are out and they count you out, that's when you come back bigger and stronger. When they come back, they're not going to find you in the same place they left you. Like a phoenix, you're going to rise from the ashes. And again, with the fire here, with the, the queen of wands, that's exactly what it reminds me of, the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's like, how do you like me now? You pop out on the scene. When people think that you're gone, it's like, surprise. Yes. You know, a lot of people... Maybe in your past, maybe even now, a lot of five of swords. What makes you stand out is that you've had to face a lot of, again, obstacles, things that were meant to take you out. A lot of people, you know, just want to defeat you, throw obstacles in your way. Again, just your ability to persevere, to overcome, to not give in. Again, you're willing to fight. But a lot of people, some people just brought conflicts, you know, to you, you know, that were unnecessary. And so for a lot of you, it's just the way you handle yourself when conflicts, you know, come your way. So that's beautiful. I love that for you. Yeah. But you're no stranger to conflict and... You know, oh, look, you show up, death, death, death. This is so us. Transformation. So again, rebirth, caterpillar to a butterfly. You're not afraid to start over. You're not afraid to bring things to an end. Anything that is no longer serving you, you will walk away from it. You're not afraid to start over. For a lot of you, you don't mind, you know, when when people leave your life. I think for some of you, you're at that place where you will 
pretty much just tell God anything, anyone in my life who is not there for my highest good, please take them out. And once you close the doors on connections, you are done. You give people a lot of chances because you know that when you're finished, you're finished. You love hard. So I think because of that, it takes, it's like once you get your claws into a connection, romantic or platonic, you go way in, way in, you sink in. So for you, when it comes time to end things, it's like slowly you pull back and you warn these people, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And because you're so deep down, your feelings so deep in those connections, it's like it takes a long time. And each time you pull back, it's like you cry because you feel the pain. Because you know that I care about this person and once I'm finished, I'm finished, but they don't even know that. And you keep warning them I'm leaving and they think you're joking because it takes it, it takes time to pull your claws out. And then once you're at the door, it's like almost out, you say, I'm leaving and they think again you're playing. And then you just go through and you slam the door and never to return. Yes. When you when you dead something, you really it's dead. Dead dead. Okay? No going back, no looking back. And that's that is something that really makes you stand out because maybe people in the past they thought you couldn't do without them. You couldn't survive without them. And you you show them. Don't play with me. You know, it's like you you are death. I'm not afraid to, to die, you know. That's who I am. Yeah. This came in the reverse. It popped up and fell and flipped in the reverse. The Eight of Swords. Returning confidence. So maybe in the past, some of you were not so confident. You self-doubt. And this is why you probably stay in a lot of connections and relationships for so long. Uh, because you 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 were codependent on other people and again as you took your power back or right now you're taking it back you're feeling confident and you see again you know with the queen of wands that's confidence confident ambition so this is only fear too that you know again everything just line up where it, it's in the reverse your confidence is coming back. You know, you're feeling yourself. Guys, you're feeling yourself. You're looking in the mirror and you're playing with your mustache and, you know, looking side to side how handsome you are. Ladies, you're checking yourself out. You don't need to be affirmed by anybody anymore. It's like, you know, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. There is none like you, none before, and there'll be none to come after. So you, you are really enjoying yourself. You saw that it flipped in the reverse. The three of swords. Wow. Of course, in the past, you probably had a lot of heartache, heartbreak, but this is in the reverse. So you have recovered or you're recovering from heartbreaks. Again, came under the ten of swords. So again, a lot of things that were meant to defeat you. A lot of betrayal attacks. Again, none of this is new to to you. You know, I think we're one of those signs that really go through a lot of um, hurt. Like I said, when you love, you love hard. And so you get hurt hard. And this is why, you know, a lot of you now, you're learning to protect your heart and not entrusting it with the wrong people. You know, so you're not falling in love anymore. You're walking in love this time, right? The moon. So a lot of you, again, just intuitive. You know, a lot of you, you're very secretive. People can't really read you. You know, it's like, you know how to wear a poker freight poker poker face really well you know 
it's like like i said people can't read you it's hard to tell you don't show a lot of your emotions your feelings as well i mean this is still water sign cancer so you know sometimes you may you may it's like people can't see how she's covering her face people can't see you don't reveal your hand it's like slowly you know like you can see she's dropping you know her clothes there slowly it's like you reveal yourself slowly to people like an onion this is what it reminds me of you know that's how people get to know you you don't just meet people and and tell everybody your secrets right away so for a lot of you you may come off like i said naive and guilty so people may think you know you're in an illusion or you know you're scared or something is wrong with you but it's just that it's you you want to make sure you can trust people before you truly reveal who you are you know it's like piece by piece you reveal the layers of yourself okay wow that's awesome that is beautiful i love that and that that is the truth you and for a lot of you after everything you have gone through you learn now to you know take it easy like i said you're not rushing you know to get too deep with people it's like trust is very important to you a lot of you you're also very intuitive you know so you're learning to trust your intuition as well when it comes to ooh, dealing with people yep for a lot of you scorpio what makes you stand out courtship a lot of people may want to court you at this time you may be you know a lot of people may want to take you out on date because we see here your confidence is coming back wow for a lot of you what makes you stand out scorpio the pathway so a lot of people can see that you're you're going down you're not afraid to change course some of you and a lot of you the pathway you're going down is your abundance it's like now you are not you're not a, a follower anymore you're a leader you're setting your own path you're going down the path that is less trod or you know less trod that not a lot of people are going but you see the butterflies that's your happiness and i said a lot of you you're more intuitive now so it's like you're more guided by the divine you're following your intuition so that way you're trusting the divine to lead you down your path to your destiny into your future that's that's what makes you stand out is like now you're 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 not following people anymore Mm, that is good that is good wow that is good that is good Scorpio Wait, what makes Scorpio stand out what makes Scorpio stand out okay sudden wealth number 11 what makes you stand out scorpio is that a lot of you number seven seven there as well you're very lucky people think you're very lucky but for a lot of you you may say it's i'm blessed and you see a lot of you your 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 luck or your blessings came in after you have gone through a lot of heartache a lot of heartbreak as well that's when your luck finally came in yeah see for a lot of you what makes you stand out you're good lovers you're good lovers good partners like i said when you love hard 
you love hard. You are a loyal friend, a friend to the end. So a lot of a lot of you, you make really good partners, really good lovers. Okay, let's get a few more cards and we will finish this off. But I love it. I love this. This shows a lot of growth, a lot of maturity, a lot of you coming into your own. This is good. This is good. See? You are rising from the ashes. We, so I spoke about that with the phoenix. So a lot of you, you're rising from the ashes. Yeah, that great transformation. You know, when people think you're out, you're down and out, you just pop back up. For a lot of you, what makes you stand out is that you took time. Or some of you right now, you're taking time to forgive and to heal as well. Because you've been through a lot. You went through a lot. And so you're taking time or you have done that. You know, and so this is why your confidence is coming back as well. Look, standing in your power. That's the truth. You are standing in your power. Look, you're trusting Trust your intuition. We spoke about that too. So a lot of you, you're not just winging it anymore. You've, you've gone through too much. And so now you're learning to trust your intuition. Wow, that's beautiful. I think we'll finish there, Scorpio. Thank you so very much. Again, I hope this message resonates with you, but it's beautiful. And, you know, I'm just so proud of you. And you should take time to really just stop and be proud of yourself. You know, I know you keep going, you know, with your life and everything that's happening. But just stop a little bit, you know, when you pass the mirror and just acknowledge. Just thank, you know, thank yourself for holding on in there, for not giving up on yourself, for keep fighting in spite of everything you know look at yourself you've been through a lot and look at you you're still here and the best is still yet to come this is only only the beginning for you i'm so happy for you again sending you purest love and light wherever you are until next time be blessed